Hello everyone, welcome to the vlog today. A very wintry mix vlog. I mean, literally, we were all fishing yesterday. Today, it's gotten into the 20s, snowing. This is crazy, snow all the way down to the bank. You know, I'm not exactly fired up to go out on the water when it's this cold. Greg's on fire duty. Gosh, it gets hot right here. Yeah. Not bad. Oh, it's looking great. Putting off some heat. It's looking uh, yeah. great. I had to scoot back. There was Best place to read a book right I know. here. Look at it. I'm just so happy. What do you do on a snowy day up at Table Rock Lake when you got a bass boat? And First of all, you make a really good breakfast, like bacon, cinnamon rolls, yeah. coffee, Fish and fruits eggs. Mixed, mixed out on that. Mm -hmm. Steffi cinnamon rolls. Oh. <laughs> you need cinnamon rolls with your coffee every morning. Yeah. Maybe not every morning. <laughs> You'd start to look like me. Yeah. <laughs> the pregnant belly. You fired up to go fishing today or what? What's well. happening? That about sums it up. That's all you gotta say. <laughs> well, well. Look, if we had these things running around our roof all night, that's a fake one right there, but honestly, they were just running across the roof. Just <laughs> screaming, scrambling. These are pretty too. I love them. We're walking around the grounds. The sun's starting to come out. It's a glorious day. I think there's a tournament going on here today. I've seen a lot of bass boats running around. I'm trying to fight the urge, fight the resistance <laughs> to go bass fishing. I'll tell you what though, this place, this place is gorgeous. It is. That little chapel right there. They were building that. They had just finished it on the time I I was doing a tournament over here. It's like probably my third tournament. I sent a picture to Stephanie while we were dating. I was like, what do you think about that? What do you think about that right there? What did you think? I don't know. I was probably I like, that. oh, that's exciting. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I wonder what he's thinking. <laughs> I was dropping hints early, y'all. I think we knew pretty on that we were probably going to get married. I knew it. I knew it early. There's bass in that pond over there, by the way. I saw them on beds. They're already getting ready. We can't fish that, though, right? Like, just look at this. Stop for a second. Look at this. I always, every time I come here, this is, this is one of the shots where I'm like, just take it in for a sec. The whole backdrop so, and everything. It looks like there's icing on the roof. It's quite amazing. Greg, you look great. No, say something clever. Something clever. Okay. If a bear put it, put it right there on my hand, like it's a mitt. Ready? Yep. <laughs> that literally would have smoked me in the face if I didn't move. Okay, we fight. Oh. test of your skills. That's a mahi, I think. What? Mahi. You only got seven seconds, dude. I'm just gonna snap it. That was a giant. I lost it. <laughs> you know what I almost just forgot? The popper. The popper and the table. Holy crap, I almost forgot that. Now it's time. We gotta pack everything up and we gotta hit the road. Fish and fresh. We're gonna take you along. It almost looks like it has bite marks in it. Surely not though, right? We got this and another little cool wooden table for our potential house. It's good times. We love it. But now it's time to go. Chucks, bro. Sparring chucks. Starting our journey back. We are in the cold hills of Arkansas. We got the boat in tow. Hopefully we don't have any real bad weather conditions, but I've been uh, getting some texts saying the fishing was pretty good. Didn't really get a whole lot in. But you got a full day and maybe a Baby quarter. moon. <laughs> baby moon. Baby moon. We did it though. Well, I have to say, baby moon was a success. <laughs> got some nature walks in. My, uh, my goal for the baby moon. Your goal. My nature walks. It was like Christmas. You wake up, snow on the ground, got the fire cabin going, cinnamon rolls in the oven, coffee brewing. It doesn't get much better than that. Then the sun.
massage was probably the best massage I've ever had and the best spa I've ever been to. A pregnant massage. For any of the ladies out there who have ever done a prenatal massage, they put you on your side and it was like kind of, it's literally how I fall asleep, like kind of curled over the side. So it was like I was already in that position to go to sleep and they just massage you. Oh, it was the best thing ever, hands down. <laughs> Between that and when Heather and I just went out there for like two hours and just slammed fish. Just crushed us, we just made us look like little, crushed it. little kids. It was so much fun. Yeah. Come on! Hey, come on! I think my rat's been Oh my gosh, that's another fish! Come on. Editing for you guys right now. OSG. Trucking. Trucking with the silver bullet for the first time ever. I feel like I'm ch chugging right along, like blending the good. You can do it, especially at these huge hills. Yeah, how's it feel to have 2,000 pounds behind you? Have you ever driven with a boat before? No. Are you nervous? Um, if I'm in like a tight space, maybe in a parking lot, yeah, it's like white knuckling. I know, it's a little stressful driving with a boat, for sure. I don't think enough people give, give the boat towers enough respect trailer towers in general especially with towing a lot of fiberglass like you can't stop as fast you have to know what you're doing yeah you gotta you gotta be more cautious than everyone else so it's a little bit more tensiony but you're doing great i'm gonna knock this edit out while she is uh trucking along with the old silver bullet proud of you just Thanks. taking the wheel with confidence teamwork that's what we're all about i love it when you tow my boat trailer honey it does. That, that's a good sign. That's when you know you got a good girl right there. When she tows your boat trailer. You know you got a good girl right there. All for you, babe. Thank you, sweetheart. <laughs> Love you. See that right there? That little kayak business? That's easy. That's easy. You can do that in the Corolla any day. Put the old silver bullet behind you. You can't just walk up and do that. You gotta know what you're doing. Uh, because uh, we definitely passed the Cracker Barrel about 30 miles back. <laughs> that was that was my bad. I was editing. Got in the zone. Freaking passed it. And there's not another one or ever, like, till we get to Texas. Mr. Biscuits. There you go, biscuit. Although last time their cornbread muffins were a little dry, I gotta say. We've been eating biscuits and Stephanie cinnamon rolls, special cinnamon rolls. Those are a treat. We only get those a few times a year. Bacon, sausage, steaks. <laughs> it has been a baby moon vacation, so probably about time we get back on something regular to keep us regular, you know what I'm saying? Back to the Lone Star State with a blue morning blooming. And the roads ride better, don't they? they sure Look at that! Do. There's but already a bass on a billboard. You gotta love it. Hey, we do bass here. We do it. We do them big. Oh. OSG, you did amazing driving the boat down here. Thank you. And um, we're gonna work on one last skill here because you may have to, you may have to do this. You may have to back me down the ramp or do some other maneuver. So I do back you down the ramp. <laughs> well, only after I straighten it out and get it. And that's kind of what I've done here, but there's a little turn there's to put it back trickery. into the little driveway. So I want you to oh gosh, do it to it. My car's back there. What if I hit myself? Well, it's a learning lesson, <laughs> you know? It's an expensive learning lesson. It would be. We lost a gas cap on this trip. Got to get a new gas cap. Just know that you steer opposite. Of the it's opposite. That's right. Uh-oh. What am I doing? Up, up, we're going a little, <laughs> may have to readjust. Might be out here for Little movements, time. remember, little movements. Opposite way, turn it the other way, the way you had it. Oh man, I was I meant right. like turn the boat the opposite way of where it's going. I apologize, <laughs> that's my fault. Okay, doing good, doing good, doing good. We're gonna start to turn it now. Oh, no, 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 no. We're about five minutes in, she's doing good though. She's doing good. This is one little curve. This is this is where you gotta learn a little bit. This took me many, many times. And then you're gonna cut it the opposite way here in just a second. Just gotta watch that live oak back there, but you're looking okay. Keep coming. 
There you go. Okay, now start straightening it out a little bit. She's doing good. Yeah. Brain, Pull up again. My brain it's, doesn't work like this. It's hard. And see, once you get going, it's hard to it's hard to correct. So you're going you're going to go off in the grass there. Nope. No. Try coming straight back. Just leave the steering wheel in place. Okay. I think I'm going to have to finish this one out. <laughs> you're so close. Oh. It's a good lesson though. Yeah, it's tougher than it looks. It's actually kind of hard to explain once you've done it so much. It's just like riding a bike. Okie dokie. Oh boy. Oh. Look at that little butt shake. Yeah. Hey, I'm Look at that little butt shake. They're back. Oh, she's so, she missed y'all so bad. Now that me and OSG are back at the crib, it is time to let you guys go. I gotta get my stuff together to make another video for you guys. We're gonna put the cover on the silver bullet change strategies from fishing finesse stuff and go back to some big bass tactics down here in texas now we found a cold front down here in texas so hopefully the fishing's gonna pick back up again and it's gonna be awesome but something did happen i got a nice surprise while i was gone i came home to see this actually i haven't even opened it i've heard it's full check this out Woo Dear, dear, dear. That's right. Something crazy happened. I called my buddy Al right after it happened. Old Jerry from the Indiana Deer Hunt. The, th the last thing I did before I had brain surgery, before we had surgery on Willis, I went on a deer hunt with Outlaw and I shot this doe and we had to get out of there in a hurry and I was going to have my deer meat shipped down. Well, by surprise, the guy that owned the deer lease just calls me right as I was leaving to go up to Table Rock with OSG and he's like well I'm coming down I got your deer meat and I'm like holy crap I forgot about it totally he hand delivered it to the house filled up the freezer we got hog meat we got deer meat there's a little bit of elk in there left over from my buddy JT oh my goodness we got some good wild game that's always a good feeling so thank you jerry for coming down here doing a little spring turkey hunting and delivering my delicious deer meat well y'all thanks for tuning in for today's travel vlog and thanks for staying with us for all the ozark videos sure did have a good time up there and we had a baby moon it's always good when you keep mama happy so until the next video where we're sticking some fish out on the water together i hope you're sticking some fish in your neck of the woods Give them a sniff for me. I'll see you guys on the next one.